welcome back to my dudes to another episode of the poor man's m3 and uh today as you might be able to see we're doing a short shifter kit and we're going to be retrofitting some of these mod flaps that came from a subaru hopefully and we're also going to hopefully be um fixing a power steering leak issue that i have um so yeah let's get right into it first of all first of all that's for sure we have got to do the the first step of it all which is to remove the shift knob so put you guys right there for the moment and you can watch me suffer as i take this thing off so this thing essentially come off i hope it will come off let's take it apart a little bit we might be able to um wait what oh my god okay we're gonna need a we're gonna need a allen key or two be all right man. so what we do have though oh my bad you're kind of in a bad view there or oh, let me check for minutes okay awesome you're, well it had an allen key on it so we just need to take off these two allen keys on the side or is it only one or oh, there's two or oh, there's, there's one Okay, take this one off. And then, oh, what the? Man, no wonder we're getting rid of this. He butchered it. The previous owner butchered the poor thing. And, uh, like, oh, that's, man, that's, that's bad, man. Oof, okay, that's gone. You, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but... He um he butchered that quite a bit as you can see, which is not the best. Um, and that's why we're replacing it, I suppose. You know? Oh, there's my um sister's shoes in there. That's a bit odd. Okay, go back there, you guys. And so now we've got that shift knob off. We can grab this thing off. Yep. Nice. All the clips are in decent shape. We can pop this down there for now. I've got no idea where I put that shift knob though, right there. Take this little insulation stuff out. Um, there was no special trick to getting those clips. I kind of just pulled it and it came out, which was kind of nice to have. There goes that. Then, ooh, shit. All right, well, no wonder why we're getting quite a bit of heat through the uh, system, because the knob itself, not the knob, the um, boot is really cut up, like seriously cut up. So let me quickly grab my um, little screwdriver to just pry it out with. So now we got that. Well, yeah, you come off, you good sir. Oh, come on. Yeah, this shift boot's pretty um, nasty. Um, I say we're gonna have to replace it sooner or later. That's pretty um, fucked up, but unfortunately I don't have the um, part for it. Um, I was wanting to buy a new one, but I just didn't really have the budget. Ooh, yeah. Is that a metal one that's in there? Don't really know. Yeah, but this, uh, this shift boot, um, really torn apart, really nasty, um, time for a new one. And so now that we've got all this out, um, now we have to go underneath the car. That's for sure. Put that there because we're going to reuse it. So, see you guys underneath the car. Now that we are underneath the car, um, I can tell that this entire exhaust is indeed an aftermarket exhaust. From what I can at least tell, it seems to be like maybe, I don't know, is it like a, it's like bigger than a two inch, two and a half inch, sorry, but it's not as quite as big as a, a three inch system. So if we just have a look up here, if I'm up here, oh, I'll just grab you guys. Okay, hello. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, I don't have the best camera skills. But there's a Guibo plate right there. Oh. <laughs> so 
a bit difficult to see because I can't really get it light onto it, but there's a Guibo plate there to flex it that we've got to take off. And so we've also got to take off um, this part of the exhaust, which is the rest of the exhaust, unfortunately. Um, in order to get to, uh, we've got to take off the heat shield, exhaust, and to get to the, um, Oh, and we're also doing a CDV delete. That's also another thing that we're doing. We're um, deleting the clutch delay valve, which is hard to see once again. But, oh, but I can't really put the camera that way. But, can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. Ooh. <laughs> there, that thing right in front, CDV, we are deleting that thing. Um, let me just make a small profile for you guys, because you guys definitely struggling a bit profile wise, they're quite big. But take you guys back out and we'll take off the exhaust, we'll take off the plate thing over you go right here, you know, exhaust. Heat shield, Ooh, flip, mechanical skills, um, exhaust, heat shield, all the good stuff, you know? So, let's stop jibber jabbering and get into it. Yeah.
Right, boys. Well, now we've got that out, we go to the heat shield. Hey again boys, I finally got the Guibo plate unbolted and stuff. It took a little bit of finagling. Um, it'll be a bit difficult to see from there. But um, basically what I had to do was um, put a spanner and a breaker bar on it, on each side. Kind of lock the spanner in place and um, smash the breaker bar with the mallet in order to like loosen it up. It took me about 10 minutes to fi like figure out what to do, but um, you know, I eventually got there. My hair is nice and messy. Um, yeah. Um, since I'm going to be reusing those locking nuts, I'm going to be putting medium strength thread locker on there just to make sure nothing <laughs> bad happens, you know? Um, as well as talking them to the correct OEM uh, spec, I think, which is like um, like 60 Newton meters. I'll double check. Um, but yeah, let's keep getting into it. Hey my dudes, finally got the stuff. Um, the bitch clip is definitely a bitch clip. I hate it, I bent it and stuff, I probably broke it, fuck it, it's off. We have a nice new one with some nice new al oh. <laughs> with some nice new aluminium bushings and a, ni and a new bitch clip pin. This is gonna replace this old bit and this is replacing the old one in here. In here. And we have a nice new short shifter show you nice new short shifter assembly to replace this one essentially so let's get right into it
if you want to unlock this, turn it um, clockwise, and there's little clip things on the side here, you just... Done. There's nothing on there, it's absolute garbage. It's just, there's no grease, no anything. Alright, let me quickly wash my hands and get back to you guys. Let me clean this off. Keep those ones clean. Uh, this is going in the bin. This is going in the bin. This is going in the bin. We're getting all nice new assembly. I'll be back with you guys, let me just wash this up. Hey guys, I am back. And I um, cleaned it up a bit, you know, about as, with the facilities that I have, I cleaned it up pretty much as good as I have. And now we've got to get this bushing out and um, put all the new ones in, really. So let's get into it. And now, the nice new aluminium bushings. We don't want too much grease, maybe just a little bit, I think. Lube it up, baby. Lube it up. Now, the favourite part, the shifter. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Once again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease around the ball, the um, axia of rotation. As it is the thing giving us our, you know, zoom zoom thing, whatever. A nice film around everywhere. Just get it all around, boys. Maybe just a touch more, I'd say. Not too much. I prefer for grease not to be everywhere when I, <laughs> you know, when I take this apart in the future possibly. Hey my dudes, well, um, as you can tell, it is um, raining, it's not fun. My doges, my dogs, happily here in the shade and stuff, but um, I'm just gonna, we got most of the shifter assembly installed, installed. <laughs> but um, all we have to do now is um, put these two in really and just uh, finish up the interior. And then, um, then tomorrow we can get on to, we can get on to um, um, putting everything back together, doing the CDV delete and doing the um, retrofit of the mud flaps. Because as you can tell, 
Uh, it's a bit hard to see on camera, in person it's better. But she gets filthy on my road, so, you know, better to keep rocks and stuff off the paint. But, um, awesome. Let's do this, let's get in here. Okay. As you can see, it's already in there. Oh, whoops, sorry, you guys are right down there. All I can do, you know, I do, I do my, come on, thing. Nice. And then this does a little slide. I think, roughly. You just slide it, you just lock it into place. It's locked now. It's not going anywhere, I don't think. Yeah, no. Unless I were to move it back. Now I can. Yep, I can move it back. So let's just put it back into the lot. So it's a bit hard to see. Eh, eh, there we go. That's that done. Get rid of some of that. Awesome. Now, my hands are a bit dirty here, but we're going to put some of this interior stuff back in, as you can tell. This is rooted and we kind of have to reuse it as um as I can't do a whole lot with it. But this is the tricky pit bit where we're gonna have to like fit on three things at once. So I'll just uh And there we go. It's back together just like it was before. Only difference is it isn't hooked up yet. Now, since it's raining and stuff and all that crap, um, I've kind of got to wait until tomorrow before I can do any more work, like delete the CDV and do the retrofitting, and um, put the put the drivetrain back on and everything, and finish the um, transmission. Unfortunately, it started raining at the worst possible time, so um, you know it happens, but um, you know. See you guys tomorrow.